Hello, player friends. Welcome back to my channel. So, gotten some new things in the mail, one of which is this beauty from Aura. So, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this player today. And if you want to stay tuned, stay tuned to the end, I'm actually going to be giving two of these away. One of which here on my YouTube and the other one on my Instagram. So, all the details I'll be going over at the end of this video. So, stick around and let's take a look at the new Aura Stell Cloud. Okay, so here, this is just a little labeling stuff here, but we've got the whole box here. We've got a quote that says, Design to Never Settle. Their logo is on the front of the box there. And on the side, we have all of the contact information. The other two boxes look pristine, but the post office kind of um, did a little ding on this one, so I kept this box. And that's pretty much it. It's got this quote on the side here. Well, not quote, but hashtags. And the bottom is empty. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up here. Slides open like this. And you get this level up quote with description in the back that says Aura. And this other quote says, make time for what makes your soul shine. Really, really like that. And then we open up the planner here. So this is the t what the inside of the box looks like at the top. And then we actually have the planner here. And I'm going to go up. It didn't actually show up like this. I've actually taken it out of the packaging. Um, but I, I was just trying to make sure everything I got was correct. But it came inside of its dust bag. And this is, it's got like their logo symbol printed. I think that's just so cool. I love the pattern. Um, but it actually came inside of the dust bag, which really, really good quality dust bag here. It's very soft cotton. And the, and the straps here are kind of like a plasticky, have a plasticky coating on the strings. I don't know if you can see that, but um, very good quality, nice and sturdy. So it, it's definitely going to be able to handle this planner if you like to store yours in, in the bag that it comes in. So I'm just going to fold this up really quick off-centered of course but there's the bag and then here we have the actual planner um so i ordered three in different colors and i really just how can i put this i could not decide what i wanted so i ordered three different colors and um i decided once i saw them i would know which one i would pick so this is the one that i picked this is called first blush um i adore this pink color i love the pebbling everything i think this little scallop is adorable i get why it's called the cloud and the planner itself came to me pristine. Um, the quality control is just immaculate over there. Here you've got the heart on the clasp that says Aura Stell. It's covered in plastic. And then you have your two um, your two uh, buttons here. So it can be buttoned on either one. You can't right now because it's got this filler in it. So this one can cover only. Go ahead and go to the inside. But um, I'll show you. It'll clasp on either one. So if you want it on the tighter one, you can do the tighter one. And if you want it on the bigger one, you can... Have it on that one. And it's quite, it, you can fit a lot. Um, so don't think this planner can't hold it all because I think it just about can. Um, I don't have anything for size comparison, but uh, actually, yeah, I do. So I've got two things here. Here is my Erin Condren from this past year and the year before. Um, and it's been stickered. So for the most part, well, it's stickered enough. And basically, let's see. So I'm just going to try and like stick this in here and well, let me take this off the rings. The rings come covered in this plastic so that they don't get damaged, which keeps them looking great. Um, it's their own rings with their logo here. And I'm just going to slip the coils in here and just show you how this fits. So this this is how a fully stickered Erin Condren would fit. I can kind of get it to go on the tighter one, but it really works best on the looser one. And when I put it on that one, there's actually room for more, believe it or not. So definitely can hold an Erin Condren, I would say, even if you like uncoiled this and put the um, inserts in there, or if you got like the inserts for the EC binder, I think it would definitely work. I've seen it, seen pictures of it working before. And then here I've actually got a classic size Happy Planner notebook, um, just because I don't use the Happy Planner, but I like the notebook um, when I was using it. So I'm just going to slide these discs here for anyone who's wondering. So the cover itself is a little big, but we're just going to roll with it. And as you can see, totally fits in here. So you could actually do some happy planner inserts if you want it. If you're more of a happy planner girl, but you like rings, then I think this planner could also be an answer for you. Um, let's see. Do I have any blank inserts? I can't find them at the moment. Okay. Maybe, maybe this will be a better look if I can do this. Okay, forgot I had a divider in the front. So, as you can see here, 
the pages actually fit pretty nicely. Just excuse these pages that are just hanging out. But at the bottom here, as you can see, it, it goes like edge to edge. And then here at the top, it's just a little bit too tall. Well, no, it actually fits. I lied, I take that back. It actually fits like edge to edge with these Happy Planner pages. So this is a classic size notebook. So in comparison to the classic planner, it's the same size. Um, so if you're, whether you're an Erin Condren or Happy Planner user, you can totally use this as if you wanted to say you like to Franken plan your Happy Planner, you could actually take that and put it in rings here. Okay, I'm gonna use this here just for the background. So left to from right to left, you've got two pin loops here and they both have the stretchy material on the back. So you can, act, you can carry two pins or if you're like me, a pin and a highlighter, I love doing that. Um, it's really functional. I love the rounded edge here at the bottom. It just continues the theme as well as with the secretarial pockets that are layered. You get two of them here in the back, which is awesome. And then this is among one of our hybrid lines of planners. So it comes with strings. Um, and honestly, I don't foresee myself using them for this size. Um, you can put like planner charms or something in there if you want, but knowing me, I'll probably just like trade the, trade the strings out or for a different color for aesthetics, or I'll just leave them in here. Um, not sure, but we'll see. Then over here, you've got another um, side pocket here that's full sized, and a shorter one here that's full size that reaches all the way to the back. And then you've got some card, two card pockets down here, wider pockets here and here, and then another card pocket which um, holds this sticker sheet from Once More with Love specifically for this planner. So I thought that was really really cute. But you can like hold cards or whatever. Um, knowing me, I'm going to design a business card to put in here. So I which the other two planners have these as well, and we'll come with that sticker sheet. So I'll run through those at the end for you all to see. But this is pretty much the Oracell Cloud. I have to say that I'm pretty in love with this planner already. Um, I've already gotten inserts prepared, and I'm just going to go ahead and put them in here so you all can see. So the first set of inserts I have that are not cut perfectly, all of them are from Just Sitting Printables just because I love them. And this is kind of why I'm drawn to the um, first blush, just because I'm planning on keeping this pretty simple. As far as the setup goes, I will have a setup up soon. Just I just need time to decide how I want to design or what theme I want to go for. But the, the set of inserts are a future log. This is a new set from this year that she converted to the A5 wide size. So if you're like me and you do printables, then you want to look for A5 wide and make sure that the inserts are as close to 7 by 9 as possible then, so that you know by then it's actually fit for that planner. Okay. So that's the end of the feature log. And then I have these monthly inserts that I'm testing out. I only printed out January, of course. And I want to see about using a kit or having like a functional kit sticker to work with this. I love how she designed the monthly. I love how it just cuts off. It looks so good for what I want to use it for. And then there's um, grid paper in between, which I think is awesome. And then the next set of inserts I have, um, these are a week on four pages which is a new new thing that just any printables made and you get a weekly sidebar here you got monday tuesday wednesday with um lines and grid column on each day and i you could actually put hours down here you can make your to-do list here and you can still stick on the side i think that's genius and then you have friday saturday and sunday of course so there's that um i got those to do specifically like a ideal week possibly um or just to see how I could use this for um, a future venture I'm looking into doing. Also have these inserts by Jessenia Pringle. So they're on two pages, came in two different styles. Um, so you, basically they're dashboards. So you get a weekly overview. You get like a habit tracker thing. You can list things to do here. And then you have that same weekly sidebar. And at the bottom you have room for washing. So I may use that one, but it also came in a second format on the download where it uses the full page and um, which I like this better, the boxes are longer, I can do like quick stickering here and still have a to-do list. So I've considered using those, but I think the week on four pages might be more my speed. And then I downloaded some additional weeklies. This will be where I'll probably end up doing mo most of my sticker planning. Um, so I have these first ones here. They're just um, two weeks on grid, undated. So you can put, put your own dates. I cut these incorrectly, so don't, don't mind that. Um, but you, it's enough space for the bottom washi and I can do Monday over here or Monday over here or how, wherever I want to put my so sidebar, I can do that. These are lined. So I've considered using the this particular set that I cut out to do an ideal week and do a timed version so that I know kind of like blocking my schedule in a sense. And I just thought about setting this up that way instead of using it for stickering. But the lines are really, really faint. You can see that. 
So yeah, that was the other set of inserts. And then last but not least, um, I actually did a mock spread in these, but here are, here they are blank. So this is the undated weekly that's available in her shop. You have room for bottom washi and it's a full box plus a header on each. So full box and header, full box and header, full box and header, and then you can put your date covers. Um, I got this option just because a lot of kits come with date covers and I use printables. So I definitely get more than what I need in a kit doing it that way. But this is how a mock spread turned out without date covers. This is um, a kit by the Crafty Banana with some things from Virgo and Paper and Fox and Pip. It was part of um, Hello Simple Paper's advent calendar a couple years ago. And um, I don't think Hello Simple Paper is open anymore. I think she probably closed her shop. But as you can see, these are how these inserts fit and how this works. Full box header, full box header. I mean, you can do your traditional planning in here um, without having to make the Erin Condren or Happy Planner work for you. It's literally what sticker makers have been wanting or sticker planners probably have been wanting for a while. But these are how the inserts look. Um, again, the Happy Planner pages, if you try and like Frank and plan those in here, they're going to be like edge to edge, but these fit perfectly. Um, and then that's pretty much the planner here. I'm really, really excited for this, if you can't tell, like extremely excited. But this is my new baby. I'm going to be um, putting in um, some, some more inserts. I prefer to print them just because I love just a font and I can do what I need to. But this is the planner that I will be keeping. Now I'm going to show you the planner that will be on giveaway for my channel and the planner on giveaway for my Instagram. Okay, so here's how the planners actually came packaged, and I'll show you this one. Um, so, came in the box, I'm gonna take it out of this. So, this is basically how it came packaged. And this is the one I will be giving away on my channel. This is the French gray. It's a very warm gray, but it's definitely gray. It's not a gray brown. Um, it's definitely warm. Um, this one will come with everything as, as is, of course. And um, like I said, still has the stickers, has all the packaging here, including this. Um, Orestel ran out of inserts, so I did actually order this as a bundle. So the bundle should get here soon, um, but I will have to ship that separately to the winner. And then it will come with these lined inserts, so you can at least test them out that way. But um, you can do printables if you don't want to wait, but if you do want to wait, just know that you'll get your planner first, and then you'll get the rest of the order, um, just because th it just didn't come come uh, in time and they ran low on inserts. So just know that when, when you're entering the giveaway for this particular planner. So this other color is gorgeous as well. I mean, you saw the first blush, you saw the French gray, both beautiful. This one's beautiful as well. And this one has the entire bundle with it. So you get to see the bundle. Again, comes packaged and it's drawstring. Let me get rid of that. Okay, this is Cream Puff, and Cream Puff is beautiful. It is a very light cream color. Um, the lighting is kind of, I hope the lighting is getting this right, but it is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful light color. If you, this is the closest thing you're going to get to white, but it does have some color to it, so um, I hope the camera isn't fooling you too much. Um, here's a comparison to First Blush, so you can see it's a bit more yellow. It's going to be closer to cream um, with a with, it seems like it might have a dash of pink in the color mix, but it's absolutely stunning. I just wanted more color, so I chose the pink, but this was my first choice, and it's honestly beautiful, and like, seriously, I just can't get enough of this one, even though I like this one more because I know I'm going to be doing more pink things, because the planner world has made me obsessed with pink, but yeah. This one comes with the entire bundle package, which I will open up the, I won't open up the actual inserts, but I'm going to open up this plastic off of it. So it comes just like the others that I've shown you. Got the elastics, the stickers, pockets, everything. And it will also come with the Aura Cell inserts bundle. Like I said, the other one came as a bundle, This, but the they were running low on inserts, so they didn't have all of them. I believe this one has all of them. So, um, but yeah. This one is good to go. It's going to have everything included with it. It comes with these inserts here, which they're um, a monthly overview, so you can put that in the front. So you, this is totally like set up, ready to go type of bundle. And then you get dividers for the 12 months. And you can order additional um, inserts from the Aura Stell website, but this was just just what, um, what came in the bundle itself. I thought it'd be easier. You get the pastel theme lined uh, sheets. Also get the dot grid sheets, hope you can see that. And then you also get um, these Monday Start um, 
vertical inserts. They have a pastel theme as well. There's like a grid box up top and all this stuff. Um, if you want to see these out of the package, I'll link the video for Squirrel Prince Co. She did an awesome unboxing and review of this planner if you needed to see it. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Um, that's the alarm for me to take my dog out as soon as I finish this video. And then here you have the traditional like um, Monday undated, Monday through Sunday undated uh, weekly view. Um, you know, that popular Erin Condren look. But yeah, so you get all these inserts in with the planner all together. Okay, so just to wrap up the video to give you the important details. So general give giveaway rules, only U.S. addresses, please. I'm sorry, I will not be doing international shipping on this giveaway, so be sure you are you have a U.S. address. Um, number two, the giveaway will open as soon as this video is live and then will conclude Sunday, December 29th at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. That is Sunday, December 29th at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. At that time, the giveaway will be closed and I will be choosing the winner to go ahead and announce on my Monday Plan With Me video as well as it'll already have been shipped off. So that's for this YouTube giveaway um, and the in Instagram giveaway. They're both going to close off at the same time. Additionally, if you want to enter for the French Gray, you want to um, get, put in your entry for the YouTube giveaway. So right here on this channel, Boxing the Swift Plans, make sure you are following my channel not following, subscribe to my channel, and then make sure you comment down below with your word for 2020 and hashtag it new year, new planner giveaway. For Instagram to enter for that giveaway, which is the cream puff planner, then you will want to make sure you're following my uh, Instagram, which is at Foxy Miss with, Foxy Miss with Plans. And, and then you'll want to comment on the post that I will have. The post will show a picture of cream puff. You'll want to comment your 2020 word there. And then if you want an extra entry, be sure to share my post and hashtag it New Year New Planner Giveaway. And that's for an additional entry in the giveaway. Like I said, everything will close Sunday, December 29th at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. At that time, I will contact the winners before midnight and hopefully ship them out on Monday. And I will be announcing the winners on Monday. All right, so that's everything for the details on the giveaway. If you do have questions, please message me on either Instagram or YouTube, and I will do my best to answer your questions. But remember, everything will close out and... Um, I want to wish everyone a happy holidays, and I will see you in the new year. Bye-bye.